Now that the WWE draft is over, what matches do we want to see on Raw and SmackDown? I'm Courtney Chandler, and today I'm going to be talking about the top five matches I want to see on SmackDown. All right, number one, I want to see Randy Orton versus Cody Rose. This is perfect. You got the teacher versus the student. If you haven't been following wrestling long, let me kind of bring you back into the fold. Randy Orton used to have a faction called Legacy, and Cody Rhodes was a part of that faction. He was very young at the time, and we've seen the evolution of Cody, Cody Rhodes. we also seen the evolution of Randy Orton. As they go in this feud, I would love to see Randy Orton as a heel and not as a baby face. Um, but if not, I'll take it either way. I want to see this match. I think this match is definitely money. If we get it at a major PL lead like Money in the Bank or SummerSlam, or we get it at a minor PL lead like maybe Fastlane, I want to see this match. I want to see this match. I want to see this match. All right, number two, and I think this is going to be a fun match. And I think this is a match that has a lot of similarities in that maybe nobody's even thinking about, and that's Kevin Owens, KO versus Carmelo Hayes. All right, so these two have some things in common. Number one, they were great NXT champions. And number two, they betrayed both of their best friends. Kevin Owens betrayed Sami Zayn on NXT. Carmelo Hayes betrayed Trick Williams just recently on NXT. I think this is perfect. This is a perfect setup. This is a perfect storyline. And these two are very, very athletic in the ring. I think this will be a great match for both of them. And I think that we can definitely see, you know, it benefiting both of them, whoever wins or if they lose. All right, match number three. I think this is something we can see in a comic book, but I think this is a match that will be great for SmackDown. And that's Nia Jax versus Bianca Belair. You got the irresistible force in Nia Jax. You got the EST and Bianca Belair. This match is money as well. Listen, these two are going to be great. You know, in the ring, I think they're, you know, pretty solid on the mic. I think this is going to be a great, great match. And we can get to see it at a PL Lee or we can just see it on SmackDown. This would be, I can see this being a main event on SmackDown. I think this match is money. Number four, and this might be a match you might not be thinking about, but I think it benefits one major player. I think this ma a match between Shinsuke Nakamura and LA Knight works Golden for LA Knight. I know I talked about Sensei Nakamura taking L's in the past, but let's talk about the L's that he's taken. Sensei Nakamura took L's to Seth Rollins and Cody Rhodes recently, but he did so much for their characters taking those L's that he made himself look good. He helps get great talent over. So I think him going against LA Knight. Especially with LA Light potentially being a champion in 2024, I think this is a stepping stone for him facing Sensei Nakamura. I think this could be a great storyline. Uh, Sensei Nakamura, not the best, best on the mic, but his character is very unique and mystique. And we, you know what you get with LA Knight. I mean, you know what you get with LA Knight. This, yeah, yeah, you know what you get with him. And the last match I want to see, and I think we're going to get it. Tiffany Stratton versus Bailey, and it's for the WWE Women's Championship. Listen, Tiffany Stratton is the next big thing. I'm not, and I'm not talking about Brock Lesnar. I'm talking about the next big thing as far as the next great women's champion. Tiffany Stratton is great in the ring, and she's great on the mic. So is Bailey. These two would be golden, golden, golden. We got to see this match on the PLN. I only want to see this match on two. Two PL leagues and that SummerSlam or Money in the Bank. I don't want to see this match nowhere else. Or is y'all want to take it on all the way to uh, Survivor Series, Royal Rumble, or WrestleMania? I'm cool with that. But if we can get it at SummerSlam or Money in the Bank, I'm even happier. Listen, Tiffany Stratton, it's going to be great. She's going to be a great women's champion. Bailey's already a great champion and a great character. I don't think this is a match that we can pass up. And I think this match is going to be great when it happens. So those are my top five. What are your top five matches that you want to see on SmackDown?